Well, hi there, Faith Pocatello Daily here. It is Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. And again, we're looking at what it would have looked like for Jesus in his last week before his crucifixion on Wednesday. So Matthew chapter 26, verses 1 through 12. When Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said to his disciples, You know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. When the chief priests and the elders of the people gathered in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and plotted together in order to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him, but they said, Not during the feast, lest there be an uproar among the people. Now when Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came up to him with an alabaster flask of very expensive ointment, and she poured it on his head as he reclined at table. And when the disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, What is this waste? For this could have been sold for a large sum and given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to him, Why do you trouble this woman? For she has done a beautiful thing to me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. In pouring this ointment on my body, she has done it to prepare me for burial. Truly I say to you, wherever the gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. So I went through verse 13. But again, we see that this foreshadowing that these the disciples still, he's like, hey, I'm going to be given up in a couple of days. She pours oil on his head and they're like, what's going on? And, uh, you know, we could have sold that and given to the poor. And um, uh, really, we, we re recognize and, and Jesus is like, wait, she's preparing me for burial. She gets it. She knows that what is valuable to her is, is pales in comparison. And so she was preparing and what she has done will be told in memory of her. And so, you know, it's one of those things. It's like we, we need to see things not from the earthly perspective, from the godly perspective. Sometimes things need to die so that they can be resurrected to newness of life better than before. And Jesus is saying, I'm not going to be with you always. Um, how great it is to know that his resurrection, and then he pours out his spirit upon all of us and how wonderful that is that we know that he is always and forever with us. So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.